guys this is Kelly I am back with a layout this was created for wild hair kits and this was uh, with my first kit receiving from them as a design team member and I am taking this gorgeous simple stories paper and I have cut a bunch of flowers out in various sizes this is a free cut file that Paige Evans provided in her Facebook group I think it's a layered flower cut file I'm not sure about the name though and what I'm going to do is just layer up these flowers and um, which I've, you know, cut in different sizes and use them on my page. The photo that I am working with is um, a recent one of me and my husband celebrating our 20th anniversary. So I'm just using a pen to roll up some of the edges of the flowers. I will warn you now that if you do three or four layers like I have done on this and you roll up the edges, this is a very dimensional page. I'm not sure if I'm going to frame this or if I'm just going to go ahead and stick it in the album and just know that the leaves may get, um, you know, squashed down a little bit. I haven't made up my mind and, you know, I have like mm, probably at least 50 if not 75 layouts that need to go in an album. So I think it's safe to say that I don't have to make up my mind right away. So. The one thing that I will suggest that I did not think of when I did this is I moved the flowers around so I would not be using a whole lot of, or there wouldn't be a whole lot of wasted space. But when you have a print that is um, like a script that you read, your flowers are, the, the layers will not lay all the way that you uh, maybe want them to go if you move them like I did to make more fit, if that makes sense. Anyway, it didn't bother me because you really would have to look hard to be able to tell that um, they're not all the same way. But if you are extremely OCD, just make sure when you line up your flowers that you don't turn them whatsoever because then the, you know, the words will be a little different. I just made sure that the words on top were going uh, horizontal. So here's the picture that I'm going to use and I know that I'm going to use a doily. I've also pulled out some of the trim that came in the kit. Now these babies, oh my gosh, I am so excited. I have had these in my stash. I'm showing you 2009, nine years old and I have kept them just, they were so pretty, I didn't want to throw them away, but have never had the, the right page to use them on. And they are perfect for the centers of these flowers. So I will tell you right now that that made my day. Um, just to be able to pull something out of my stash that was nine years old. So what I want to do is I felt like that the way that this was going, it was going to be a monochromatic layout with just black, white, cream, gold, and I thought that a very subtle pattern in texture paste would be pretty, and I'm going to use a, a very messy script. I didn't want anything that was going to be legible, and the reason, because of the flowers, I didn't want competing scripts or competing fonts, and I, I just wanted a very subtle pattern, and so this um, the stencil is definitely the way to go. So I'm using Vicki Booten's iridescent glaze because I definitely wanted the shimmer and then I added some of the gold Liquitex heavy body acrylic paint. I first tried the Heidi Swap gold color shine and I realized that I was going to really have to spray quite a bit and that would also make it a little more liquid than I wanted and you know um, you can't necessarily buy Heidi Swap Color Shine unless you just stumble upon it now. And I don't know if there's going to be anything put out anytime soon, so I am just using this judiciously. So I'm trying to figure out where I want uh, my stencil to be placed, and I'm leaving my photo on just because I want to have it as a guideline. And I'm just going to put it on three different spots on the layout. And I do come back off camera, you know, once it's dried and I add a little bit more of the uh, texture paste down further down on the page um, than what you see me do right now. It just wasn't quite enough. Um, 
I felt like it needed just a little bit more to anchor that uh, photo. So the other thing that I went ahead and did is I decided I wanted to add some gold um, splatters. So I added some water to the texture paste just to maintain the same gold. And I went ahead and just used a bigger um, brush and uh, put some on the page. And then I'm just using my color shine on the black flowers. Now I chose the color shine instead of the texture paste on this because the color shine is a little bit darker and I wanted to make sure that you could definitely see the gold splatters on the flowers. So I am going to use some craft foam to pop up my photo. I am just, I found that if I just adhere the adhesive down to the foam and then adhere the adhesive on the foam once it's on the photo, that I can get it to work pretty well. I know some people have trouble adhering adhesive to the foam, but that's the way I have found that it works for me. I've got a lot of foam that is not adhesive backed right now, and I will get that adhesive backed foam, but I wanna use what I have. So I'm just taking some glue. I use Scotch Tacky Adhesive. It used to be called Scotch Quick Dry. And I'm just taking those little Prima sequin gems and putting them in the center of the flowers and just trying to figure out where I want the flowers to go. And I am going to put a pop dot under this flower right here just because I'm overlapping it on the first flower and I don't necessarily want to um, adhere the flower directly on that other and I'm not taking off the, the backing off of all of the pop dots. I'm just doing it on the ones that um, are hitting the paper. So I've decided to make the title I Still Do. And I thought that would be um, something uh, definitely appropriate for, you know, a 20th anniversary and just a little meaningful because, you know, when you stay married to somebody, you are choosing um, that every day, whether or not you know, whether or not it's a good relationship. And um, I have definitely been blessed with um, our marriage. And, you know, that's all I'm going to say about that, you know, not to get all sappy, but um, anyway. So this is a sticker that I pulled from my stash. I wanted to have a label underneath that flower. I just thought that that would be a perfect place to put the date that we were celebrating our anniversary. And I'm using these black and gold letter stickers. These are from Tim Holtz. I found these at Michael's, I'm pretty sure. And they have, he has some really good phrases, as you all know. And the phrases that I'm going to pull out are, love you to the moon and back, heart and soul, I love us, and good life. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those around the page. Uh, just number one, I wanted to add some more gold up top, not gold, black up top, because I felt like the bottom was very heavy with gold. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to anchor those black stickers on. Sometimes you can just add things up, up on a page and, you know, like in that cluster up and not have anything to anchor it to. And it looks great but it really felt like it was missing something. And so I'm going to play around with that quite a bit until I finally can figure out um, what I'm going to add. So in the meantime, while I'm thinking what else I wanna add, because I don't wanna introduce any other colors and it needs to be pretty small, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and scatter some of these uh, sequins that came in the kit as well. These are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I love adding sequins onto my page even in just small doses, I feel like it really just takes the page to a different level. They are easy to add. I just use some quick dry adhesive or, you know, the tacky adhesive, and I find that it they stay. I have, have not had any problems with them coming off, like I'm not coming back, um, you know, once I put my pages and page protectors and seeing, you know, sequins at the bottom of the page. So I like the fact that it holds well. So on the same Maggie Holmes uh, sticker sheet that I had pulled out, I found this teeny tiny um, tag and this uh, round 
label maker, label maker, round label. And so I thought that that would be perfect to help anchor the, the phrases that I wanted to. It doesn't take up a lot of visual space, yet it anchors the, the word phrases. So. so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and get everything glued down. I like the way that this is looking. I don't even think that I'm going to journal on this, um, you know, because I have enough that other layouts that I have journaled on. I feel like that the phrase stickers definitely say, uh, you know, what I want as well as the title. And I think the only thing that I do off camera is I add some crochet thread that I have in my stash just to the tag. I, I prefer to have my tags with either, you know, like a little ribbon or a bow through them just to help um, make it feel finished to me. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will have all of the products detailed in the detail section below as well as a link to Wild Hair Kits. And I have some close-ups coming at the end where you can see um, just how pretty that the, uh, the texture paste looks and the, the layered flowers. And um, yeah, that's it. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.